What's poppin'? My name is Rashad Coleman. I'm going to tell you guys what poppin' actually is and give you a brief history of the art and history of spoken word and slam poetry so you can get an idea about how this fits into history and why you guys should support it now. Language. The most fundamental of mankind's tools. It is the power to put ideas into other people's heads. Language is what builds society. Every major culture has society, and without it, mankind would be lost. Now, mankind's second greatest tool is writing, the ability to encode thoughts physically. See, now, thoughts don't get around just by word of mouth. And scribes scribble on scrolls, ideas, logs, and codes, and etched in stone tales of those long gone, like Beowulf, Gilgamesh, the Odyssey, and the Iliad. But even after the advent of the tavern, the language began to become more elaborate. People still absorbed more through folklore. West African poets known as griots solidified history and their memory, holding their entire tribe's identity in crystallized events and words as they occurred. And over time, mankind bore more great speakers, writers, and orators, Lincoln, Emerson, Thoreau, David, whatever, and Samo, I mean, Edgar Allan Poe, E.G. E. Cummings, and this next guy was really, really something. You could say he was incomparable. He spoke about things and metaphors and parables. Jesus, believe this or not, was an undercover poet, and many of us really didn't know it. Now, <laughs> now, in the spirit of his revolutionary attitude, Don Martin Luther King Jr. was attuned to the people. He had a dream that gleamed more than people under the steeple. And one of the greatest orators of our time with his dream realized this warrior of words was a poet. And when that same revolutionary attitude, people like Gil Scott Heron, Maya Angelou, Langston Hughes, and the last poets influenced a new generation of activists. They birthed what's called hip hop and soul music. And now we have a new generation of hip hop poets, Talib Kweli, India Ari, Most Def, Black Thought, Jill Scott, Nas, Lupe Fiasco, who else is on there? Common, uh, Andre 3000, Lauren Hill. And these people really influenced where poetry and spoken word came today. Now with slam poetry, the baby of um, hip hop and spoken word came together, and if that came with religion, Gary Mix Glasner would be its pastor. He created the very first national poetry slam. And so now kids all over the world are screaming, warning, I am a poet and I speak my mind. I speak the times and breach your mind every time I speak my rhymes. And the beauty of it is, it doesn't even have to rhyme. And that's the appeal. Because as hip hop became more institutionalized and marketed, poetry had no image. You can't sell freedom of expression. So as it began to displace rap as um, the same way rock inspired its generation, it took over. And so now poetry is the hip thing, and it's cool. The biggest poetry slams in our country are the New York Rican in New York City, the San Francisco National Poetry Slam, the Poetry Slam in Chicago, and Brave New Voices, which is sponsored by Def Jam, Russell Simmons, and all that jazz. And still, you ask me, what's poppin'? So I'm going to tell you guys what poppin' is. But before that, I'm going to let you know this program that is designed that uses all of these ancient, ancient tools that people have used for centuries. And that program is called PDOT. Now that P can stand for poetry, performing, poet, pursuing passions, and planning and persistence. Just a plethora of things to begin with the letter P. And we hope that we prophesy all these successful things over these young people as they engage in the activities of this program. Now popping stands for the party of poets performing incredible nuances. And this is the profitable aspect of what PDOT does. So as kids perform, they go out and they get these lifelong skills. These skills are things like being able to confidently speak in front of a crowd of strangers like you. These skills include the highest cognitive processes like being able to create something genuinely original. We help them think outside the box, help them gain what is called essential locus of control, meaning that I can do whatever I want to do. It's me, I have to go and get it. Nothing else is stopping me. They become their own person and just an effective person in general. And these people will be the voices of the future. The voices like Martin Luther King, voices like Lincoln, everybody I mentioned. Now here's my contact information. You can get us at poppinpoets at gmail.com, facebook.com, P-O-P-P-I-N, Party of Poets Performing Incredible Nuances. My name is Ismael Rashad Coleman. Izzy is Rachel, is my poetic name. And these are a couple of our members and two of our affiliates, Launch Memphis. I gotta thank them for giving us the time to talk to you guys. 
Hive Life Marketing is another poetic organization, and that's me at the bottom of the sunglasses. So. <laughs>